Okay, good morning. This is Richard Shu, host of Shu Untied. Uh, this morning, I'm really thrilled and pleased to have with me as my guest, Shu Win, who's a partner at Quinn Emanuel. Shu, welcome to the program. Thanks, Richard. Thanks for having me. I, as I told you, I'm a big fan of yours, and <laughs>、uh, I appreciate all that you're doing with your podcast. Oh, thanks. Well, it's great to have you on board. So, let's see. I love lawyers who have a science degree. So, let me start by asking you. I noticed you have a chemistry de- undergraduate degree. Tell me a little bit about that, and what were your plans when you first went to college? Well, my plans when I first went to college was pre med,、mm-hmm. uh, so that's why I gravitated towards chemistry,、um, and in particular chemistry because the professor that I met who is. Became a mentor of mine throughout college, and even stays、uh, remains a friend today.、Um, he's a great teacher, and、um, as a result, I decided, yeah, I'll do chemistry because he made it very interesting.、Hmm. Um, but I picked chemistry because it was among among the courses that I had to take for、um, pre med. Right now, usually chemistry is the course that weeds out pre meds.、Um, <laughs> Were you? I mean, did you like organic chemistry? Because I mean, that's the class that usually people fail out of when they go to medical before they go to medical school. Yeah, I mean, I went through the whole med pre med program. I even applied to medical school and everything. And I really love chemistry. I love the science. I love physics, math, all of that. It was only because I、um, followed a doctor around、um, for a day, and I fainted at the sight of blood. <laughs> he he was doing like a surgery, and you know I made it throughout the surgery,、um, but then all of a sudden I started blacking out. And at first I thought I was going blind because I've never fainted before, but apparently I I fainted,、hmm. and it was pretty funny because that day、um, there was a reporter there to kind of you know. Talk about what's going on, and I woke up, and the reporter's like, "Are you okay? <laughs> you just blacked out." And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> no, I But I love like the subject matter. It's just the blood is the you know、oh, doesn't doesn't、uh, yeah fit with so, me. So I assume you were good. So even in high school, I'm assuming you were good in science and you like chemistry. Is that true? True. True. Yeah, I actually、yeah. really like、um, all subject matters.、Um, you know,、yeah. everything really excited me and. And I think that it does come from my immigrant background. I think my parents、um, instilled in me and my sister and my brother a really strong work ethic、mm-hmm. um, to realize that you know this is such a great opportunity for us,、mm-hmm. um, and in particular to be in the United States、um, and to learn. And so every subject matter I approach, I, I approach it as a huge learning opportunity.、Mm-hmm. And I felt like there was every there was an int- something interesting in every subject matter,、mm-hmm. but I think that's what kind of made it difficult、uh, eventually for me to figure out what's going to be my career path,、um, especially when the medicine <laughs> angle didn't really work <laughs> out. But I have to say, in hindsight, I probably could have you know gone into radiology or dermatology,、okay. something less、uh, blood intensive. Yeah, right. So were you disappointed when you found when you thought, oh my gosh, I can't go to medical school, or how did that how did you end up steering you towards law school? I'm not sure, but I was as disappointed as I would say my parents <laughs> when I actually had to <laughs> when I had to break the news to them that I wasn't going to go to medical school.、Uh-huh. Um, but I was very resourceful because when that avenue didn't seem like it was going to fit for me, even though I. Applied and everything.、Um, I quickly took the、uh, LSAT, the GMAT, the GRE, and I was kind of trying to cover all my bases. So I, so then I decided to like look into maybe going getting a PhD in chemistry. Right. And then,、uh, I applied to law school. And then you know once I got the responses, I then made a decision. And you know I, I would say that my parents、um, were happy that I. I think that one consolation that I wasn't going to go to medical school was I got into Harvard Law School. <laughs>、so. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> totally, totally. Harvard anything is always good. Yeah,、um, yeah. So, well, how did you like law school? I mean, it's obviously very different from chemistry. Did you like it, or what did you think? Um, I have to say, like the first couple of months, I hated law school because I'm a very visual person and.、Yeah. You know, with science and everything, there's a lot of、um, models. Like chemistry,、yes. there's a lot of those models, and there's a lot of diagrams and everything like that. And I wouldn't say that、um, law is as visual, at、yes. least the way it was taught. 
Um, there's a lot of language, a lot of reading, a lot of talking. Um, and then also not a lot of um, answers. Because with science, there's just like an absolute answer. There's an absolute answer in math. Yeah. And I think for the first couple of months, I'm like, what is the answer? You know, and, right. and the professor would be like, and you can argue it this way. You can argue it this way. And this is, so there wasn't as much of an answer and it wasn't as visual. Um, so I think I, for the first couple of months, I kind of struggled with that because it, it requires a different mind shift in terms of how you analyze things. Yeah. Um, but I think it was an incredible experience overall. I love that I did go through law school and um, learn more of a different way of um, analyzing problems that other than it, when you were, you know, doing it in science or math. So uh, uh, I enjoy. I eventually enjoyed law school. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I did find it very challenging uh, in the beginning, just because it it required a different way of thinking. Right, right. Now, how, when did you kind of decide you were going to do? Obviously, you do litigation. Did you? When did you decide that, or did you ever look at trying to think about becoming a corporate or transactional lawyer? Or you kind of knew litigation was for you. Or tell me a little about that decision point. It actually happened by chance. Um, oh. I, when I graduated from uh, law school, um, I had, didn't have in my mind, you know, whether I wanted to be a litigator or a corporate attorney. And I ended up in New York mm -hmm. at Davis Polk, uh, mm -hmm. which did both. Um, but the first couple of matters that I was assigned to uh, were litigation matters. And then I just found that I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of competitive aspects to it. I'm, I'm pretty mm. competitive myself, naturally, even in games and everything. Mm. Um, so I found that I enjoyed it. So then I never actually started to explore the corporate side of things. Nice. Um, and I just continued with, with litigation and I realized, oh, I really enjoy it. I like mm. um, telling a story, you know, how best mm -hmm. to present a story mm -hmm. to either the jurors or to the bench. Um, and then I think in some ways that aspect of storytelling um, really appeals to me because of the visual nature of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, nowadays when we do presentations to jury, I love to figure out, you know, how best to tell the story and how best to show it. Mm -hmm. And we use a lot of PowerPoint presentations and, and graphics. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's a good way to marry, you know, what I uh, what appeals to me and mm -hmm. uh, how to tell a story. What about the advocacy part of litigation? Because I know a lot of scientists, they don't, that's the part they don't like, you know, the arguments, the, you know, that kind of stuff. What, what do you think about that? Oh, I was going to actually include uh, the people who don't like that as my husband. Because he's <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, you're not in court and you don't have to argue every, every aspect of things. So yeah. in terms of whether I like the advocacy part, I must because I, I innately do it. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, is that, some, yeah. is that something you, you probably as a kid probably had that in you without realizing it or that's not true? Yeah, I, I must have had it inside me without realizing it. Yeah, and maybe right. the advocacy side is, um, like I was like saying before, I kind of like competition. Yeah. So when yeah. you take one side of it, you want to just win. Yeah. 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 Well, and it's funny because you're like introducing me uh, as Shu Win, and my last. It's a really great name to have in litigation, you know. <laughs> it really is, and yeah. clients to know that too. Um, so, how much do you get to use your science now in your practice? All the time, I yeah, I, yeah all the time. But it, uh, a lot of other um, my other interests, you know, with math and. And um, whether it's also in um, my dermatology interest, you know, with medicine and everything right. like that. Right. And I think that's where what I really love about law. And I didn't really appreciate at the time when I chose law yeah. that it actually you can be you can learn new things, new subject matters on every single case. Yes. And I think law gives you that variety. Yeah. Um, and I would say like in many ways, my practice is probably unusual because I have chosen not to particularly specialize and say, I'm a patent attorney, even though um, I'm in, uh, registered with the patent trademark office. Um, I don't want to slap myself into one box mm -hmm. because I think law, you know, is at, touches every aspect of, of life. Um, and I think the, the skills that you have, the advocate skills that, that you know, I have um, is transferable to every subject matter. Um, I see. And I so love what, meeting what, like experts in all different subject matters too. 
So what percentage of your practice is patent litigation, would you say? Um, I would say like right now about 30%. Oh, okay. So it's not super high. It's a contract, I... trade secret. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Got it. Now, what is the most complex technology you've encountered? Obviously you worked on a lot of cases, but I'm always curious, like what was the most complex technology you had to kind of wrestle with? Um, I thought it was interesting to, um, understand, um, you know, I didn't know what, what goes inside of a phone and so that it there's, uh, so that you can, when you rotate your phone, that the phone knows that you're rotating. Yeah. And I had started to learn that technology. Huh. Um, and then the other technology I thought was really interesting is I was involved in a hair product case where a, a number of chemists dis discovered uh, the, you know, the a particular polymer that helps with uh, repairing broken bonds in hair. Hmm. And so that was right, right, right down my, my alley. Yeah, and I was right. like, wow, that's really interesting. Right. Um, and then I was also involved in a medical device case uh, <laughs> involving varicose veins and, you know, how to, to close um, the enlarged veins and everything. Um, yeah, yeah. So, I would, I would say like, you know, every subject matter is, is pretty uh, challenging when you first learn about it, um, but you meet the experts and the, and the inventors and they explain to you uh, the, the process. Do you think the clients can tell that you have a science background or the experts? I mean, does that, does it seem like, does, do you think that they, they can sort of appreciate that as well? Yeah, yeah, they do. And um, although I'm never going to have their level of expertise, of um, yeah. but I think that the thing that they appreciate is that I think a lot of people who maybe go to law, they're like, oh, I chose law because I was, you know, I hated the science and I hated yeah, the math. Right, right. And I think that what clients appreciate is just the openness to um, learning uh, this particular technology. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so, yeah. so you don't just focus, even though with a chemistry background, you don't focus on life sciences. Well, how much life sciences do you get to do, or, or do you get to do any small molecule or drug stuff? Yes, I'm actually working on uh, a case. Uh, it's a False Claims Act case um, for a pharmaceutical company. Um, a number of matters for them, and through that, I I learn. Um, right now, I'm learning about hepatitis C and the the drug treatment for that. So I do a number of, of cases in that area. So I, I love that, um, you know, my background permits me to uh, dabble in various subject matters, yeah, including totally. the scientific matters too. Yeah, totally, totally, yeah. So you enjoy all, it sounds like you really enjoy all aspects. You enjoy the technical part, you enjoy the working with experts, but then you also like the litigation and the actual advocacy part, it sounds like. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. My parents were worried for me about like um, law because they're like, isn't it very contentious? And yeah. are people are always fighting all the time. And do you yeah. really want to do that? Um, you know, I didn't have the answers to them uh, when I first started law school. I just wanted to throw myself in it and give it a try. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that's what I, I encourage my daughter to do. Like, sometimes take risks and you know things are going to work out and sometimes the risk will pay off and you're going to find yourself in a career that you really enjoy and yeah. if you find yourself in a career that you don't enjoy there's opportunities to pivot like yeah. it's a, not a life sentence yeah. you know <laughs> so sometimes you just know um by trying that's true so obviously look it sounds like you picked a perfect career that matches you know your undergraduate background you obviously really enjoy law but have you ever thought that you might try something else in the future or do you ever think about that at, at all i never i never like say no because you never know <laughs> i feel like um you know uh i'm a christian uh, to uh -huh. begin with, you know and uh -huh. and i think that life is a journey yeah. um god gives us a lot of opportunities um right. I totally appreciate all the blessings he's brought in my life. And who knows um, what, what life will be, bring. And I, I love that I live in the United States and there's so many opportunities that are afforded. So I'm, I'm totally open to that. Uh -huh. It's not too late to go to medical school, is it? 
<laughs> you know what? It's funny because I've often like, you know, because I, I think the subject matter is so interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. That, and then when I was working with these scientists uh, on this hair care product, I'm like, wow, you know, maybe I should go back to med <laughs> and, and go to medical school and, you know, I can invent something and uh, do something with skin products and stuff like that. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Well, Shu, it's been wonderful chatting with you. I really appreciate your taking time. It was so enjoyable. If you do decide to do something else, please come back and tell me about it. Of course. This is Thanks Richard Chu. This is Richard Chu and Shu Nguyen. Thanks. Bye.